If you're still using the AC method, it's not looking good, Moi. If you're trying to split the middle term here, when this is 12 and this is 60, you're gonna be there for a long time, mate. The whole exam will be you spent doing this. So, traditional AC users would do 12 times 60, which is a mad number, and then you'd be trying to split it and then factorize and rev, you'll be there forever. Bun AC, let me show you guys a better way. So, traditional factorizing, we're thinking of what multiplies to give you 12x squared. So your options are obviously one and 12, two and six, three and four. The first option you should always be trying out is the options closest together, okay? Now with 60, we have quite a lot of options to be fair, but we can easily break it down. So two and 30, three and 20, four is 15, five and 12, uh, six and 10, and that's it, okay? So we need to try out all of these options. Now there's some really cool strategies you can use here and you can be thinking about. Now six and 10, if you put that into here, I already know it's not gonna work because six and 10 are both even, right? So one of them has to go in here, but four is also even. You can't have two even numbers in the same bracket because then you'd be able to factorize within that bracket, but we can't factorize any even numbers here. So I already know that's not gonna work. Five and 12. If this is going to work, the 12 has to go here. Oh, but that can't even work either. So the 12 can't go here because it's even, two evens. And the 12 can't even go here because three and 12 are both factors of three, which means you'd be able to factorize. So this is not even gonna work. All right, let's try four and 15. If this is gonna work, the four cannot go here. It's gonna have to go here. 15 would have to go here. All right, this method is known as Neil's oi oi method. Yeah, my GCSE students know about my oi oi method. So you're gonna to wanna to save this, like the video, so that you indicate to me that you wanna do more practice of the oi oi method. We just need to decide the signs. So you do the expansion, 4x times four is 16x. And this gives me 45x. How does 16x and 45x make minus 29? Well, that's if this is minus and this is plus, yeah? 45 minus 16 gives you 29. So we have minus and plus, and that has been factorized. And the reason we call it Neil's oi oi method is because when you do foil, you're doing the outer and the inner to check your answer. And this is why we call it the oi oi method. Oi oi!